Good morning, my name's Aidan. I just uh, would like to share with you my collection of bee bumblebees that I have um, through using of artificial nest boxes because they are an endangered species. So um, I started off a few years ago with one nest and then up to two and this year I seem to have nine which has been a bit difficult to get to that point but I have anyway. So we'll just have a little look in at the first three just to show you the position of them and, and the boxes itself. You may not see too much activity at first but I'll have a look. This is the first one and there is as we speak a queen just about to go in and there she goes. Um, it's a small species, a small red tail species called Bombus praetorum and that is the easiest one that you will accept an artificial nest box. Um, they're quite an early species, uh, say so the queens to be out this early in May. Um, again we come round to the second one, again that's the same, Praetorum. It's not so active at the moment. As we speak uh, another queen has come out of the first box. Um, the third box is a larger ginger species. Um, which is just workers at the moment, but obviously you can see there isn't many coming in. So if we come back and then go to the middle section, oh, we just missed one. <laughs> we just missed a large worker coming out of the centre box. All these boxes I've made myself um, to my own sort of specification because I find generally the ones you buy aren't big enough. And then we're just coming up to these two at the end, and it may take a minute or so. Sorry, <laughs> my camera woman here is doing an expert job. You might have to wait a minute, uh, but I'm sure something will turn up soon. Yeah, going close up. Now keep it, keep still. There's a few workers going into there. That's the second box I actually had. There's a queen just about to come in now. There she goes. And that box is the most active, I think, of the whole nine. Um, I should think there's a good 30 queens have, have actually come out of that box. Just so the second one came in. You don't have to wait more than about 25, 30 seconds for some activity. Um, on the box next to Deborah is Bombus uh, Pascorum which is um, one of the cardamom ginger species of bumblebee and she's got about another week to go before her first first workers hatch. Quick bit of nifty camera work back to the, <laughs> the second box. Just missed another queen coming out. So I'll keep quiet just for a, about 30 seconds and see if you can hear a queen come in now. She was almost silent running then. And as, if you can see closely, there's a bee at the very entrance. Now she's fanning the nest because obviously it gets pretty hot in there and it's a pretty, pretty big nest anyway. So she's trying to keep it cool. There's another worker just coming out. Oh, two more there. And she'll spend some time fanning and then usually she'll end up coming out herself. But um, it must be pretty packed in there actually. So anyway, you've had a little look. We just we can come back and have a longer look of the size of the uh, area, the nest, the actual boxes. I don't think there'll be much on that one, but uh, yeah, there's one just gone in there. Anyway, sorry about the camera work, but thanks for sharing it with me and uh, hope you found it of interest.